What's up guys? It's Friday poker message. I still don't have a name for it yet, but coming at you for another Friday to watch before your sessions for this weekend. And I'm so excited because Bay has a story for us. So what's the lesson from, and tell us your story first. All right, so Friday poker lesson. Uh, it's one of my favorites that I had uh, happen at the Monster Stack final table. I think it was in 2016. Um, so I was going on to break at the final table. By the way, just to set the scene, you, you guys are at the Thunderdome Dome at the WSOP. Lights, yes. camera, we're all on the sidelines. So like, and also what was first place? Uh, one point, almost 1.3 million. 1.3 million. So that break, you know, you're just like, Trying to figure things out, trying to settle in. And I was talking to my poker mentor, and I was like, hey, I think this guy's gonna like do something. I'm just like, I have a, a sense about it. I feel like he's gonna try to make a move on me. And I was talking to my mentor, and he was with one of the best poker players in the world, and they were talking about strategy with me, and they were saying like, hey, this guy's a total amateur. Like, he's been playing really snug. I think you should just be like really cautious and expect people to play that way. So, go back. Uh, spot comes up, sure enough, guy like ends up making a move. I thought I should play back at him, or it would have been for a lot of chips. And I ended up folding the hand, kind well, of going on. Tell what was the hand, hand, just real quick. Oh, it was just a spot where like I had ace jack offsuit, and I, I opened, and like was facing a, a large three bet from this guy um, under like a like a kind of like a four better fold situation. Um, and it was the momentum point. And I looked back and saw that he was bluffing that hand. And, um, you know, I think the big lesson for me that I, I tell people and that I'd like to leave with you guys is that, like, very often times we look for outside approval on what we're doing is right. So we're like, oh man, you know, I think I'm doing the right thing, but I just kind of need to hear someone else say, hey, you know, you're doing the right thing. And so when I look back at that moment, I was really just. I knew what was going on. I, I, I told my mentor and I, I was locked in. I was in the game and I was like, I'm gonna make a move on this guy. I know he's about to make a move on me. And um, had I just went with my intuition, learned to trust that voice, my inner voice, um, it would have been a pretty big difference in that tournament. Uh, and for a lot of money, but more so like Luke moving forward in life. I, I think I'm learning a lot more to trust that inner voice and I'm cultivating that by listening to it, allowing myself to be wrong sometimes. And in doing that, that voice becomes more sharp and, and more consistent. So, um, yeah, I just want to leave that with you guys today. Man, that's so good because I was just, my next question was going to be, so how do you cultivate that instinct and, and trusting that voice when you're in game and you're like, my gut tells me this. And it's allowing yourself to be wrong, listening to it, giving it the space and respect that it deserves, going for it, being okay when you're wrong, and then learning from there. And you know, it's crazy just watching you in that thinking point, like when the guy three bet you and you had ace jack and we're watching you and your, your wheels are spinning, you're thinking, should I four bet or should I fold? And that decision point. And I think the point is, the more that you hone in your instinct, those decision points are gonna become more clear for you. And you're headed into the poker this weekend. What do we say? Go for it, listen to your, listen to your gut, and then figure, and then learn from that after. Yeah, and you're gonna just take whatever knowledge you have at this point and just know that you're gonna do the best you can with what you know and, you know, learning to trust that voice is gonna be a different, uh, it's gonna present different obstacles for many of you and you'll be on different parts of that journey. But wherever you are on that journey, uh, it just starts now by making those, those uh, you know, listening to that inner voice. So thank you guys for letting me be a part of your uh, Friday poker tips and uh, <laughs> good luck out there guys. Yeah, thanks. We're on our way to Bay. We're about to be there. So we're going to get in our own Friday sesh. Wishing you guys luck. Run good. <laughs>